awesome and you know with growth comes uh, the importance of alignment um sales and marketing teams are like the heartbeat of an organization or even you know as a matter of fact probably the most critical element of startups it's not to say that the other teams are not critical but the heartbeat of sales and marketing working together is probably super critical um in your blog you did mention that uh, probably just 46% of marketing teams actually feel highly aligned to sales so what do you think are some of the reasons for that yeah i think um i think people are too much in their own world so somewhere in the last 5 to 7 years the world changed to where marketing and sales and no one told no one said it out loud there wasn't a historical event today is marketing and sales alignment you know to, but it happened and i think companies haven't really pivoted to that that way that, that way of thinking where sales and marketing actually fit under one group like um uh, or work to get very closely together right for the longest time historically for the last 50 years even before the internet the sales people were always saying marketing is not giving me enough leads the leads suck this that the other right um a lot of blame game going back and forth and marketing is like hey like i'm driving all this lead we're spending all this money oh sales is not doing it well guess what both of you are responsible for the revenue right so marketing had a cop out which was well we our job is to drive the leads sales job is to close the revenue and and well now that, that's not the case marketing's job is to contribute all the way to the bottom line so the funnel is extended for them and that means marketing needs sales to be aligned and sales to get the right leads needs to provide the feedback and so for sales they need to provide feedback and nurturing and be nice and and provide feedback not just on a bad lead like hey this was a this was bad because of xyz but on the great leads the best sales right get all that data and 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 so marketing needs to be open to feedback open to the fact that like they don't know everything to number 2 that um that they are responsible for the whole uh whole revenue and that's where growth comes in right so growth and and add another layer to growth which is product those three groups need to work very very closely together yeah absolutely well said and i think you also speak about this in the context of alignment at three different levels so one is at the emotional level uh, the second is at a process or a function level and the third is at the feedback level which you just spoke about So could you talk a little bit about the emotional and the process because that's kind of less spoken about when context sales and marketing. Yeah, absolutely. I think the emotional level is the hardest one to get get past. Well, it's the first one you need to get past to get the other two to work. So you never if you don't break the emotional side, you never get to actually implement properly. There's still some animosity between the groups. So the emotional level here is that I'm a sales rep every single day. I'm on calls, I'm doing work, I'm talking to prospects. My life is about the leads you give me, right? If it's bad, my day is bad, right? Like a marketer needs to understand the emotions of what happens when you have a whole day full of bad meetings. Like I don't know about you, but if I had eight bad meetings in a day, uh I'm kind of I'm kind of demotivated. I'm I'm I might be annoyed, pissed off, sad, right? Like all these emotions happen for a sales rep. So I think the marketer needs to understand that bad leads means bad emotion, like right? Like low confidence. Um and now the next day I jump in, I'm responsible to do eight more calls or a full day of demos, but I just had a bad day. What if I'm I'm scared that my day is going to be bad again. I'm concerned, I'm anxious. right um think about these human beings that have to sell sell every day based off the leads you get so marketers just need to understand that whatever they do good or bad it affects people's lives right you have lives at stake lives that you don't that don't report to you that you may never see um you never you might not hear the sad stuff because if i'm a salesperson i've got i, I tell my sales manager man that was a tough day i don't tell the marketing group so just know that your bad leads or good leads or whatever you do affects people's lives at a personal level. And on the sales front, it's your job as a sales manager or sales individual to start to give that feedback. 
and to be humanized that side. So the best thing I found to solve this problem is the sales manager or marketing manager, uh, I mean, sorry, sales manager, or if you're a smaller sales person or larger VP of sales and the head of marketing need to go grab a beer, need to go grab lunch, need to go, you know, have a coffee. And they need to do this every week, every month, and they need to talk. They need to talk at that emotional level. Here's what, what's happening with our team. Are they good? What's happening here and there? And they need to and top down, make sure that their, their groups understand that, right? So um, I found that, that once you open that door, it's great. You know, look at what I've done in my career. I've done the, mo the most um, the most success I've had is in the sales group, not in the marketing group. So yes, you know, I think like some of the sites we own are, are doing, you know, well over 500 K in traffic and, you know, uh, a month, monthly traffic and, and we've built them up from nothing. And, you know, there's a lot of leads coming to the door, but actually like marketing leads, email opt-ins, what have you, but actually it's the five deals that we got that like did X, Y, Z that we've, figured out for sales. Like, I think that has been the biggest key. So think about like, you might get a lot of traffic, you might get a lot of leads, you might get a lot of email opt-ins, but really it comes down to sales. So if you can just say, okay, well, like I've got all this traffic and input metrics, I, let's, let's just see how we can optimize the output. That's really where you can focus. So I think the alignment helps people focus on the right things. And it's so easy to forget. Like it's so easy as a marketer to get excited that I got 500,000 visitors to the site. That's an amazing achievement. It is, but it's, don't forget that. How does that relate to the sales leads? How does that relate to like the sales revenue?